How can we integrate Ansible Automation Controller with Grafana and Prometheus to create this wonderful dashboard? As you can see, this dashboard is displaying in real time the job execution and the load of the server. Yeah, this is amazing and is taking advantage on all the full stack of data visualization and injection of Grafana. This is the UI toolkit and underneath there is a Prometheus that is analyzing real time the events every 5 seconds from our automation controller. This is more easy than you think, you just need to set up the, uh, the software and connect Ansible Automation Controller with Prometheus and Grafana. I'm gonna show you in this small video how to do it. As you can see, this dashboard is easy to understand also for people that are not so skilled inside Ansible and uh, Automation Controller. There is easy and clear graphics that demonstrate the trend and all the important numbers. Where can we find all this information? So, first of all, we need to connect to our Automation Controller. controller. So let me go log in with username and password and uh, we can see the main dashboard and as you can see this dashboard is giving us most of this information but not all this one okay so how can i find this information and connect uh, to prometheus to retrieve all this data you are already thinking to some complicated database query no is easier than you think there is an api endpoint so basically automation uh, controller as this slash API slash v2 uh, RESTful uh, API that we can navigate and in this endpoint matrix is pointing out all the important uh, parameter for our system. Well, don't worry, this matrix is protected by the password, so only the user that actually are able to log into our system are able to see these numbers. As you can see, these numbers are the same that were displayed in the UI. So what we need to do is just connect our Prometheus to read this API endpoint uh, at a certain amount of time and we are done. So back to the magic we just need a freshly installed prometheus uh, server this is super easy just need a linux machine with grafana and we have information to all this data point isn't amazing so this is great we just need to connect together the dots so welcome to my terminal, I'm going to connect to my Prometheus server that is already the server that uh, hosts also Grafana. So let me connect via SSH, DevOps is my username at prometheus.example.com. So uh, let me hit enter and sudo sudo switch to root user. As I mentioned before, this is a Linux machine with a Prometheus already running with a basic configuration. What I'm going to do is just customizing for accessing Prometheus to the uh, Ansible controller API endpoint. So let me edit the slash etc slash Prometheus slash Prometheus.conf. This is a pretty straightforward configuration that uh, is going to deliver the data to grafana.example.com. This is my hostname. And uh, okay, so as you can see, everything is pretty straightforward. I'm going to ingest this parameter via the job name tower and let me specify the matrix path that is uh, in my case slash api slash v2 slash matrix this was the same api that we saw in our browser before okay cool we just need to uh, uh, set it up the beer token for authentication or a basic authentication with username and password as you can see i already set it up also the target in, that in my case is ac example.com automation controller and where can we find this beer token but also this is super easy 
Let me show you the easiest way to retrieve this BR token. Back in our browser, actually there are two ways we can do via API, but in my opinion it is easier to do via the UI. So let me connect again, let's switch to our user profile and the last tab is actually tokens. We create a new one with a scope to read and let's copy to the clipboard. Okay, cool. So now we create a, a new token associated to our user with read capabilities. And uh, what are we going to do it? Just uh, let's return to the terminal and paste it in the Briar token. This is a O of 2 token that is going to guarantee the access to the API. So let me save the Prometheus uh, configuration file and let me restart the Prometheus server just to make sure that uh, the new configuration is actually applied. This is super easy. This is a, a Red Hat Enterprise Linux machine, so I just need to do the service restart of uh, Prometheus. So, like usual, let me use a service Prometheus restart or uh, as you do nowadays, system control restart Prometheus. Uh, let me verify that I need, if I need to restart also the Grafana, but I'm not sure, probably will restart by itself. No, actually, there is no unit. So, let me restart Prometheus system D system control restart Prometheus dot service. Cool. It looks like everything is ready to go. Let me verify that uh, the status of Prometheus service is running and it is. Cool. Now, let me connect via the browser and showcase if everything is working. Cool. I connected to Grafana via the browser, with, uh, via the standard API with a normal user and I got this initial dashboard. So. We can start creating our own dashboards, customizing all the parameters that we need, or we can search for some uh, already made dashboard. In my case, I already made one that is called Ansible uh, Matrix Tower that is grouping all these main uh, uh, parameters. As you can see, this matrix is in real time and is updating every five seconds with all the data from our Ansible automation controller. Cool, now the sky is the limit. Let's automate more. Yay, I'm so happy. Yay, we made it.